Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here. In today's game, we're playing some York in the top lane. So I'm going to go ahead here grab a Doran Shield, one Health Potion, and a Warding Totem because um, it's looking like we're against a Fiora in the top lane. And if we're against a Fiora, that's me. That's going to mean we're going to need a Doran Shield because Fiora does a lot of um, basic attacks in, I guess, her trades. And so having that Doran Shield is really going to help us out in that sort of scenario. <clears throat> now, if you guys can't tell already... Um, I have a slight cold right now. It's been worse throughout the last few days, but it's gotten a bit better to the point where I should be able to commentate a video. Uh, that's pretty much why there's a bit, of a, a bit of a delay on this video. I wanted to upload it like two days ago, but I mean, at least record it two days ago and then upload it, but I haven't been able to because I've been sick. And literally, I tried yesterday to record, and you guys would you guys would laugh so hard if you were there. Because what ended up happening was I was like five minutes into the recording, and I got a little bit of a tickle in my throat. And I started coughing, right? So I ended up muting my mic because I knew, you know, if this was this video was gonna be uploaded, me coughing would be really a huge letdown of the video and just not something people want to hear. So I muted the mic. I didn't unmute the mic for another 60 to like 60 to 90 seconds because I could not stop coughing. I I couldn't get that thing out of my throat and I literally started sweating because I was unable to breathe through the entire process. It was it was really not a good experience. So. Um, hopefully I'll be able to commentate this video. I have to be a bit quiet though because my dad is sleeping in the next room. So I'm at my dad's place right now. So I can't really be super excited, super loud. But then again, I am sick. So that kind of reinforces the idea of me not being super crazy in this video. But we are playing some York here today. So we aren't going to be crazy just regardless because this champion is pretty crazy. Um, as far as I know with York, I want to get your W first. But I'm not really sure. I don't play this champion at all. Like literally this is probably my, my seventh, maybe eighth time playing him. So I have no idea what I'm doing with him. But I've read a few guides. I've played a few games with him. Um, in the near, in the near past, I guess you could say. Recently, I don't know. <laughs> no matter how I go about that sentence, it just sounds wrong. I'm just gonna give this guy a few autos here and head to lane. Um, so yeah, looking like we're against a Fiora top lane. I am right. It is a Fiora top lane. Um, on our team here today, guys, we're playing with a few subs. We got Luffy five five zero five playing Jinx eighty carry, Captain Draft playing Blitzcrank support. I'm just gonna make sure I don't miss any minions here before I look back at our team. And I'm going to get this one right here. Oh, come on. There we go. we got to be really careful with Fiora because she does have um, that extra AD off the start. But she's being kind of weird here. All right. I'm going to miss some minions. Actually, I'm not going to miss any minions. That one in the back is like super low. Oh, there it goes. It just died. All right. Um, I also apologize if I sniffle at all. Um, I do have a bit of a stuffed up nose as well. It's not too bad. It's gotten a whole lot better. But it is still there, I guess. So I might have to sniffle here and there to make sure I don't sneeze or make a mess of myself so I apologize if that's a problem if you guys don't like that but I'd rather get out a video and sniffle here and there than not have a video at all so I'm just gonna use this to sustain a little bit here and get that minion and we should be good to go so we're sitting at six she's at seven but the minion wave is pushing towards us so we're not doing too bad for ourselves so far um, I was talking about something but I can't remember what it was oh yeah that's our team um, that's our team here we've got Leo Merlin I think is that how you, is that how you pronounce that playing um, Heimerdinger in the mid lane Fiora, you're being annoying. I don't like the way you treat me. Um, Fiora early game is really going to be extremely annoying for us. Like, we literally can't do anything to her because we try to auto her. She's just going to out-trade us. So we literally just got to keep our distance and uh, be annoying with our ghouls. But I'm going to miss a minion there. And I should be able to get this one here. Okay, I got it. Um, get my Q here. So yeah, once we get to like level 4 or 5 maybe, before she hits 6, because that's when she's really strong at 6. But I'm not that strong at 6, so I want to take advantage of like that 4 to 5 period. If I can do that, I should be able to win this lane. I'm not going to be able to get this one, unfortunately. I'm just going to freeze it right here. And I should be able to get 4 before her, actually, because I think she's missed a few minutes because she's been out of range. So let's actually... Me. No, I'm not going to get that. Alright, let's get this. And boom, boom. Alright, I think you upgrade the E first, at least max it first. I'm not really sure though. I haven't played this champion a whole lot, so I'm not really the best guy to ask, but that's what I read on the guides that I looked at, so you're being annoying, so let's just trade with you here. And my ghoul's gonna wreck her a little bit here. No, that didn't go that well. <laughs> yeah, I ran out of mana, so I couldn't get my Q off, so that actually ruined a lot of our potential damage output. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna ping her, because she's been overextended for a while, and her trinket ward must be out by now. If she did place it, I'm just going to use my W here to make sure I get those. And she's actually taking a lot of damage from my minions here, so I'm just going to kill her. Yeah, she's going to die the minions. I don't know what she's doing. That was really dumb by her. Yeah, she literally stood in the middle of my minions next to a siege minion and started fighting me. And that is not a good choice because that, you know, led to her death. So I'm using my E here just to try and sustain up because it does give me some lifesteal. Um, I actually missed the siege minion, which is pretty depressing, but we should be okay to get some minions here and there. Get this. 
Um, and then get this. Unfortunately, I can't push that quickly, so I'm actually just going to look to freeze it. Because if I could push it, I'd be pushing it to her tower, try to make her miss minions and go back. But because I can't do that, I'm going to be freezing it for as long as I can, and then probably go back. Because, yeah, I can't really f quickly push this, unfortunately, with the mana I've got right now. And I should be able to get all these. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go back to base here and pick up a tier and possibly some more items. And Zed's actually here, so I'm going to be very sneaky and just walk out. All right, so yeah, he's wasting time up here. He's accomplishing nothing. He's actually going to take some... Okay, he's not going to do anything. Okay, I thought he was going to take some minions from Fiora, which would actually be beneficial for me, but he did not. So yeah, Fiora looks like she's... No, she's not freezing it. She's the, she's like half freezing it. She's kind of basically freezing it, but t badly, if that makes sense. I'm going to get boots here, because I do predict Zed will try to come top. And I'll grab two health potions as well. And we should get head back to lane. Um, you'll notice I took Ignite this game, and if you guys are familiar with the current, the current top lane meta, uh, most people run TP now in top lane, but the reason I'm running Ignite is because in my videos, uh, what I like to bring to you guys is, like, I want to say... I want to bring you guys videos of how I play a champion and how I get fed and how I carry or how I do well with that sort of setup. And I feel like to get fed, Ignite will, will uh, contribute a whole lot more than TP will. And that's pretty much why. If I was going to play in a competitive setup, and I'm not actually going to miss this, but she's staying in the middle of my minions again, and I'm level 6, so yeah, I'm going to win that trade. And I'm not going to kill her there though, because I do not have my summoners, so I'm just going to pop my E here just to sustain up a bit. And yeah, at this point, it's going to be very easy for me just to zone her off. What I do have to do, though, is I have to avoid using my W, because it is an AoE. But the E, I can use to harass her very easily, just like this. It's going to harass her, and it doesn't actually hit the minions, so it doesn't push the wave. My W will, though. And I'm going to use just auto this one. And she's being really dumb here. Yeah, I'm just going to do a ton of damage to her. Yeah, I couldn't have killed her, but I definitely won that trade without a doubt. And at this point, she may be 6 and have a stronger ultimate than I do, but at the same time, oh, here's Zed. I might be actually be able to 2v1 because he's not 6. So I'm just going to stand here in this bush. Okay, well, he's going to do some damage to me. I'm just going to wreck Zed here. Okay, so he's dead. And I'm just going to juke away. Yeah, I got outplayed there with Fiora. I should have ran further back sooner, but yeah, that didn't work out. All my things were on cooldown, but I did manage to kill Zed. Unfortunately, though, the minions are still pushing to her tower, so she's going to catch up. So that's going to put her back into the lane, but it's not a big deal. Um, My tiers only got like 59 stacks. Yeah, that's nothing. I'm going to get into Phage, though, for some durability, get some more health potions. But yeah, I, I expect Zed to come back, honestly. And he's going... Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know why he's jungling Zen in the first place, but to add on to that, he's not even going Feral Flare. Feral Flare right now is extremely strong. You'll notice our Yi is going for it, because he knows best. This guy knows best right here. Um, I forgot to mention our last player, actually. Laser Cats 13 is playing Master Yi in the jungle. I apologize for the delay on that, but yeah, that's what he is doing, and he's doing a swell job so far. Uh, he's got 30 CS. That's actually pretty good for the jungle this early on, so good for him. Our CS is actually extremely low. We're only at 40 at like 8.5 minutes, which I apologize for. That's really sloppy. On the bright side, we are beating Fiora, but <clears throat> um, it's not really that impressive. But I guess I have gotten two kills, and I have going to use my W there to try and get that many. I missed it, but I tried. And I should be able to get this one. He's the cutest with the increased auto attack damage. Alright. So yeah, I'm just going to freeze here at my tower. And get as much minions as I can. I feel like if I fight Fiora again in the near future, I'll probably win because I do have Ignite this time around. Um, she probably will have hers too because she used it when we fought last. When, um, I mean, when we first fought and I got her that uh, kill. But if I fight her actually here in the near future, yeah, she's fighting me when I have a giant wave of minions. I'm just going to wreck her. Yeah, this is not a good choice. And I actually put an extra... Okay, there we go. I put an extra point into the wrong ability there. I meant to put an extra point into the... I'm just going to use my W here. Oh, no, I missed the Siege minion. Um... Yeah, I put an extra point to the Q. I meant to put an extra point to W. W is a whole lot better than Max, if you ask me. If I had my ulti there, I probably would have killed her, but it was still on CD, unfortunately. Which is kind of unfortunate, but in the, we could probably dive her if her ulti's down, but it's it's up, so I can't dive her. But if I can bait it out, we can easily kill her. So what I'm going to be looking to do is just toss my W on her. What are you doing? You're being so dumb. There we go, she's dead. 
Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this bush here. Oh, God. Okay, so I'm dead here, regardless of what I do. So I'm going to try and kill Zed before I do. No. Yeah, Zed he busted Flash. He busted W, so... Uh, I'm going to say Zed, no Flash, or Alt. Yeah, so what he did there is he flashed towards me, popped his W to get even closer, and then ulted, so... Yeah, he used a lot to try and get me there, so that's fine. I don't really mind. I'm going to get the Phage, and we're also going to be grabbing... Uh, Longsword towards our mana immune, because mana means really good on Yorick. Yeah, I keep overextending here, and Zed keeps coming up. But the truth is, and this is something I want to reinforce in top lane that a lot of people actually don't realize, is you should only be really worried about jungle ganks if it's going to put you behind. Like, with this gank right now, I'm killing Fiora easily 1v1, and, like, Zed showing up, I mean, me knowing would not change really anything at all, honestly. Like, uh, this doesn't really, I, I don't, like, I'm listening to what I'm saying here, I'm not really thinking I'm making sense, but, like, if I warded, I wouldn't, really, wouldn't, it wouldn't really change anything. Like, if I'm behind, or I could be killed by the jungler, and the, and Fiora can get back into the game that way, yeah, I'd be more worried about jungle ganks, but, like, right now, if, even if they come up and 2v1 me, I'll probably still come up with a kill. So, it's not really a game where I have to worry a whole lot about warding. Those kind of games are games where they could come up and gank you, and that will lead towards you falling behind. In these ganks, I'm not falling behind. I'm going even every single time in a 2v1 scenario, which is really good for uh, me, because that means that the Z Zed's basically wasting time, because he's not actually getting his laner ahead. Now, Fiora continues to engage on me all the time, so I'm just going to be continue to be annoying to her. My only concern, though, is if she engages on me right now, because I don't have my W, but I should be okay. He's continuing to freeze the lane. Catching up back in CS. We're sitting at 73 in 12 minutes. So we're catching up. We're only like, uh, like 40, 50 behind where I would like to be. But then again, I've gone back to base like three or four times now. So, it's alright. I'm just going to trade with Fiora here. She's staying in the middle of my minions again. Why are you staying in my minions? You shouldn't do that. It just gets you wrecked every single time. Oh, it looks like Balin's getting destroyed, actually. That's not good. Alright, get this, and we should be able to get these minions. Yeah, we're not going to miss any of these. Alright, we have our Ignite coming up here in like 15 seconds. I'm going to ward here because I am overextended, and this is actually a time where Zed could potentially come up and turn this lane around for Fiora. Oopsies, I actually missed that one. Alright, Fiora, what's up? What's good? Yeah, continue to be annoying. With our with our tier stacking up like this, we don't really run out of mana very quickly, so it's working out for us really nicely. Yeah, and there's Zed. He's he doesn't like me one bit. Okay, that's a wasted ulti on him. There's Zed no alt. And we'll continue to um pretty much farm our lane. But yeah, the reason I'm letting them know, like my team know when Zed has ulti or not, is because when he has no ulti, the chances of him ganking are very low. So this is going to mean my team can be a bit more, you know, safe in their lanes. But, yeah. I mean, I w like if Fiora pops stuff, I'm like, I'm not, it's not really a big deal. Okay, I'm just going to kill Fiora and run. <laughs> the Ignite should kill her. Yeah, I'm going to die here. But I'm going to get a double, actually. Holy crap, I actually lived. What? How did I live? Oh my god, that is crazy. I can't believe that. I didn't think I was going to live there. Wow. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Yorick OP. Alrighty. <laughs> so yeah, that pretty much just won me the lane. Like, no questions asked. Um, my team's kind of struggling a little bit, but yeah, Master Yi's got some farm in the jungle. He's got a kill, so... Uh, he should be able to carry later on with the Feral Flare, and I'll do the rest of the carrying. So we should be fine. Yeah, I mean, who's fed? Misfortune? Like, misfortune. I mean, no offense to any misfortune mains, but I feel like, mm, excuse me, of all picks to play against a Master Yi, I mean, this is a normals game, it's a blind pick, so she didn't really have much choice, but of all picks, that is like the worst luck. Ma like, misfortune literally can do nothing to Yi, nothing whatsoever, except for out-damage him in a trade, which is not going to happen, especially when he's got Feral Flare. So, we're going to get our Man Immune here, and we're also going to be looking towards getting, um, I'm thinking Frozen Heart. Frozen Heart's a lot of fun, so I think we're going to do that. that and we'll grab... Ooh, we got Dragon. Nice. Good good job, team. So I got an extra health bot for that. <laughs> and we'll head back to lane. 
So yeah, you'll notice that like me having ignited this lane, I mean TP would be better because TP is like the best right now because of how it works with towers. It reduces the CD by like, 100 seconds, which is a whole lot of time if you teleport to towers. So you can be, if you fall behind in lane, you can pretty much never fall too far behind because the TP. So that's really helpful. So I don't know, TP is really good, but if you want to snowball lane, ignite will allow you to snowball a whole lot harder. And because of ignite, I managed to get that kill on Fiora. So. Alright guys, we're back. Um, I don't know why that happened, but we just our game just crashed, so... Sorry guys, my game crashed. Yeah, I don't know why that happened, that's really weird. That's It's happened to me actually a few times um, during this patch. I don't really know why that's been going on, but it is. So we're just going to tune the recording um, as if nothing happened. <laughs> I apologize guys. Um, as far as I know, I mean, I'm still playing the game here, and I just had to reboot my game like with loading screen stuff. I'm assuming what I'll end up doing editing wise is you guys will just see me freeze and then next thing you know I'm back at base because like <laughs> as I was um, DC'd my commentary continued now it looks like Master Yi's going in here I don't agree with this at all but I might be able to 2v1 this yeah I can't definitely 2v1 this oh wait Yi's oh yeah Yi's alive because I gave him the I gave him the ghoul there we go there a quick double kill for me. Beautiful. So that is a great way to come back to the game. <laughs> Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and push this. And continue the game. But yeah, like while I was DC'd, I was talking as if the commentary was continuing. I was like, wait, I can just cut this out. <laughs> so it makes me feel a little dumb, but eh, it's whatever. So we got the tower now, and that's gonna help us out a ton. But yeah, I mean go ahead and answer me that in the question in the comment section, guys. Have you guys been experiencing any bug spots recently because of the new patch? Because I've been experiencing a, quite a few. I mean, there's a perfect example right there, but I've also been experiencing, like, literally after every game, when the game's over and you click continue, I've been experiencing a bug spot then, which is pretty annoying. What are you doing, Zed? You're going to get wrecked if you continue to fight me. That's right, you better get out of here. Did he just smite my ghoul? What a waste. All right. Let's head back to base here. Oh, God. I'm going to get out of here. I don't have enough mana to fight these guys. I don't have my ulti either, so. Yeah, I'm just going to get out of here. I'm going to drop a ward here. Is that in the bush? That's not in the bush. Wow. All right. All right. Right. Look at that. That's not in the bush. Somehow. Some way. They worded it too. <laughs> All right. I do believe in the heart of the monk. I believe too. I believe. So yeah. So far, our team's getting pretty much wrecked. But I should be able to carry if I get to you to split push really hard. Because if yeah, if I split push really hard, I'll grab their pressure and or grab their attention, and my team should be able to make pressure the other places if that makes sense I'm gonna go bed right now though cuz I don't want to lose any more towers yeah and for your if yours going there I need to pretty much yeah what's all those blitzcranks though like I don't really normally see blitzcrank but <laughs> I'm playing some normals with some subs and next thing you know blitzcranks everywhere oh what's killer okay well, well that's that's not gonna kill her okay they pulled in my my ulti ghoul Yeah, definitely get some magic resist for this rise because he's a little fed. Yeah, he's at 170 or not 170, 157 CS. So he's got a lot. Uh, MF is gonna get out of there, no problem. All right, well, let's just take this camp. How many stacks we got? 340. Okay, that's really low. We need to farm this more or stack it more, I should say. All right, what's going on mid here? Nothing of importance. Alright, Zed's bottom, so we can engage. Hook. Yeah, like, if we get a hook, we out, we're all here. And Zed's not, so we can easily win a fight. So you gotta hook somebody. Hook somebody! Oh my god, Blitz. Alright, so we can just focus on Fiora, because she's caught out here. There we go. Alright, let's get on Blitz. Get on MF. Alright, let's get on this guy here. There, come on, one more rocket. Why are you in the tower? You could have hit him. Oh man. No, what are you doing? Alright, I got my ulti again. There goes the heal. Alright, we gotta be careful. We don't know where Zed is. We actually lost two people in that engage. Alright. Let's clear this out. Is this guy serious right now? What do you think you're doing, man? Yeah, get out of here. Oh, why am I taking tower hits? I need out of here. Alright, well, Jinx has got that tower without an issue. Alright, that's good. Good job, team. See, I didn't get any kills there, but we managed to get some 
we managed our, to get our team some kills, which is good. I'm gonna drop this ward right here and go to the top lane and make sure I don't lose my tower. My tower's got a little bit of HP left. Alrighty. And yeah, let's farm this up. I'm not looking to freeze it or anything, I'm just looking to get it and go back to base. Because I do have some gold in my pocket to go and spend. Ooh, looks like they're picking up a kill on Rise. That's actually really good for us because he's been putting a lot of pressure on the map, so if we can shut him down, that's really good. Another thing I should mention here while I have some downtime is you guys may notice all this going on and these over here. Um, that is Curse Voice, that is a program. Um, that curse design, of course, and it's kind of like Skype in the sense that you can make like calls, but it also has um, features for League, like you can see on screen. It gives you timers for Dragon and Baron if you do see it die. If you don't, you won't get a timer, and you'll just see it when you walk by. You'll notice the camp's gone. You'll just call it, you know, say it's dead. Not sure what Blitzer is doing in the middle of the mid lane without his team there. So yeah, that's gonna cause him to die. I'm gonna finish my Mercury treads here because I can use the magic exist against a Rise. And from here, I'm gonna look to finish Rise Force. Because Trinity Force is really good on, on Yorick, and I actually really like it. So, we're going to do that next. For the time time, we're going to go mid lane here and try to help out the team. Um, that could be easily be a kill if he hits... Oh, he doesn't even hit anything. Oh, wait. Yeah, he does. He... Yeah, he could have got it. He had ulti there. He should have used an ulti something. Anything, really. That's alright. Uh, oh, excuse me. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I thought I was going to cough, and then I burped. What was that? <laughs> you know what that reminds me of, actually? Have you guys seen that um, that comedy with Adam Sandler and all these other like really funny actors? What are you doing, man? That's um, there's a guy who's like does like a cough burp fart or something like that, or cough burp sneeze fart something like that. I don't know exactly what it is. That's pretty much what that felt like to me. <laughs> it was weird. That should be an easy kill on MF though. All right, I'm gonna flash out here. I'm just gonna wreck Zed. I don't like him. And we have Yi coming in here. There's Yi, going ham and cheese. He should be able to get some more things going off. If you want to pull me, man. There we go, there's the triple kill. This is what I was talking about with Yi. When, once he gets some Feral first stacks, he's just going to carry. It's as simple as that. To do Dragon, they have um, no jungler. What is our Blitzcrank doing? Did he use DC? What's he doing? Alright, whatever. What happened is he's Yi. That's as simple as that. When you're playing Master Yi right now in the current state of the meta, you get Feral Flare and you get a few stacks on it. It doesn't really matter anymore. You just wreck it, everyone. So I'm going to go bottom here and probably farm like a wave or two. He wants me to take blue? Alright, alright. I'm not going to say no. It is. Oh, it is here. What the heck? That was weird. It looked like it was here. Whatever, I'll just take this without an issue. How much CDR do I got? 25%? Yeah, CDR is really good because it allows you to spam your ghouls even more. That's why I got Frozen Heart instead of something like a Randuin's this soon. So I can spam my ghouls more. Uh, oopsies. Nah, still recording. Yeah, I basically just, I pretty much just started a new recording as soon as I got back into the game, so it's not an issue. It looks like they're grouping up mids. So I'm going to go and join them. Jinx is dead. Alright. We should engage while they're not here. Wait, is Blitz in base? Why is Blitz in base? What the fuck? Oh, okay, he DC'd. I, I, I haven't been paying attention, so... I apologize. Yeah, I think... If Zed and Fiora are both here, I'll just kill you. There you go. Easy. <laughs> Didn't really have to do anything. I just unload all my stuff and she just got wrecked. Oh, Windows update. That happens. That's actually so annoying when they just do those auto updates. That's really annoying. I've actually seen that a lot. So, yeah, no problem there. Just clear this out and. With Blitz back, they should be able to relieve some pressure off of the mid lane. And I'll just farm this up. And go back to base, because I've got a lot of gold in my pocket. In fact, actually, I'm going to farm a few more things, because I probably almost have enough for Triforce. Yeah, I do. So let's get to the Wraith camp. Rise is pushing bottom, so i got to get down there as well. See, so yeah, I'll farm this, and then I'll go and do bottom lane so that Rise doesn't take our base. 
My team's gotta be careful though, because Rise is missing, so I'm gonna ping that just so they know he's on. he's probably on his way there, honestly. Yeah, they're my team's getting engaged upon, I'm coming. Yo, Heim, what are you doing, bud? Alright, well Zed's dead, because he's being dumb. Come on, MF, be my bitch. There we go. Ship will kill. That's what I want to see. Oh, well, hey, Rise. I actually had no idea this guy was here, I'm going to be honest. Am I going to get a Penta here? I am going to get a Penta. How about that? <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. I will take it. Yorick Penta kill. I guess that kind of suits the skin I'm using, huh? <laughs> Isn't that... That's so fucking perfect. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so glad I continued to record this game after I DC'd. I am so glad. This is fucking great. Alright, so, I DC'd again, but this time, GG Rito, um, this time, let's hope I can continue to play the game before, <laughs> before DC'ing again. Why am I getting Spirit Visage? Get this, and this. There we go. Alright. <laughs> yep. Oh man. <laughs> I can't believe the amount of DCs. There we go. My, I still like at typing, but hey, you guys watch me for my league and my commentating, not for my typing abilities, so... <laughs> Let's continue playing this game and hopefully we can win this still. I mean, I've DC'd twice, like, fucking Riot. Flix your client, please. I've been DCing constantly recently with the clients up right now, and it's it's been painful, really, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I mean, record, continue to record this video. Um, it's crazy. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go get blue buff. Yeah, I cannot believe I got a pentakill. I'm pentakill York. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh man, this game is just. This game is ridiculous. I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> yeah, now that I have Triforce, I'm gonna be extremely strong. And I've got a. Uh, what is this thing called? Spectre's Cow as well, so that's gonna help. Alright, so I'm gonna go bottom. Yeah, we'll kill MF pretty easily. She's pretty weak. I mean, she's level 15, and she's gotten. She's got her passive, but outside of the- well, her passive's gone. Outside of that, she's got no ability, so she's gonna get wrecked by me here. Yeah, easy kills. So I'm gonna continue to push bottom, because my team is getting wrecked over there. If I can- if they do Baron, I'll get some towers. And if they push, I could probably outpush them, because they're busy trying to chase Heimerdinger. Yeah, and Yi's gonna push too, so we'll just outpush them completely. So yeah, he needs to get that tower as fast as he possibly can. Yeah, they're just dancing around. They're all just dancing around this guy. Oops, there's one here. But yeah, if they're just dancing around Heimerding and they're wasting time, we can outpush them very easily. I cannot believe how this game though. Like this is ridiculous. Like this is this is like the weirdest game I've ever recorded in my life. I think. Like not only do I get a Penta kill, but I've DC twice. <laughs> like I'm sorry if I'm rambling about it, but you cannot understand how weird that is for me, considering the circumstances. No, I'm not gonna catch him. In fact, I'm actually just going to fight this guy. Alright, well, he's out of there. Yeah, I'm just going to be a continue, continue a nuisance here. Like, they can... They can off... Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I'm going to get a kill? No, I'm not. Okay, so I died. Um... <laughs> Sorry I went quiet there, I was trying to focus and see if I could get anything out of that. Alright, so we're back again. Um, we DC'd again, for a third time. Um, got Spirit Fishers this time, and my team went and died apparently, so I'm gonna go ahead here and grab... Uh, where is that item? Here we go. Giant spot towards my Randuin, it's my last item. Um, it looks like... Oh wait, my team didn't go and die, my team actually did well. Huh, it's a 3v5, they won, what? Alright, so it looks like my team's actually doing exceptionally well then. Good. Yeah, I saw a bunch of deaths and I assume my team died because I wasn't there because I'm actually like majority, I'm like half our team's kills right now, but my team actually went and got like a lot out of this, so good job team. I can't believe all the DCs that are happening in this game, so yeah, if you guys are watching this, please um, do me a favor and like tweet at Riot being like, yo, fix your client, because yeah, this shit's annoying, and yo, yeah, no, 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 not with Fiora. Okay, I'm just gonna wreck Zed here though. Okay, I'll just happily wreck 
you. Why did he leave? Oh, okay, your mind was low. Yeah, I was just fucking around at this point. <laughs> I really shouldn't be, but I, I'm, I'm honestly... This game is so troll. I mean, I got a pentakill with pentakill Yorick, and I'm DCing constantly. Um, you'll notice I, the, the curse stuff is not here anymore. I thought that maybe that program was causing me to DCs, because this isn't like a new add-on thing to, to League. Um, if I don't DC, maybe it is curse, but yeah, right now I'm feeling like it might be it, so we'll, f we'll find out soon enough. But yeah, Yi needs to go ham, no smite on their team, because he's down, so. I might be able to pull someone off. <laughs> when I'm up, oops, he's not IP. We 5 mid and take inhib. Yeah, I'll be up pretty soon. Oh man, this game's crazy. Yeah, I'm making a lot of mistakes because I'm just kind of. This game's just so troll. So I'm just kind of fucking around a little bit. Yeah, Rise what? Ice Blink Gauntlet. That's a little odd. There's a lot of farm bottom. I'm gonna go clear that. Yeah, you guys gotta be careful. I gotta clear this. Otherwise, we're gonna lose a tower here as well. It looks like Heimer's getting engaged upon. He's gotta be careful. And he actually got a kill. Nice. So my team's in a fight. I gotta get over there. Right, I'm coming. I just want to clear out the majority of it so it wouldn't push. Looks like Zed is on Jinx. Can I please get there? Can I please get there? There we go. Got that one. Alright, let's push. Oh, Jinx got him. Nice. Alright, cool. So yeah, let's push. <laughs> no, no, fuck Baron. Are you kidding me? No, we're not doing Baron. We are definitely not doing Baron. We gotta get that inhibitor before Raz comes up. But I could be going straight to it without taking the minions, but I'm not that scared of Raz right now, because like Yorick is really strong late game. So I can just handle him and Heimer's with me, so we're fine. And I got Triforce, so we'll take this fast. I'm just gonna fight him off with um He's gotta be careful though. Alright, he died for a good cause. Gotcha. Alright, let's just push this in. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Holy, this game is so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm not really talking a whole lot. I'm just kind of sitting here quietly because my dad's in the next room sleeping um, without any energy because I'm, I'm sick. But I'm also sitting here dumbfounded of like what has happened this game. Like, this game is. Like, I'm out of words. Like, I don't know what to say. This game is just so weird. Um, let's upgrade this to this, because it's actually really good with my Q. It makes me, like, super fast, so I can chase. And I'll get this, because it's, you know, AD, and I'm Yorick, and I'm AD. It just makes sense. Um, set up Baron. Words. Blitz. If he gets up some words around Baron. Oh, what's going on? Is he going to get him? Oh, yeah, she's, he's got him. Good, problem. good shit. Alright, we can pretty much jinx you and me. If they're keeping that, them busy over there, me and Jinx can do Baron. Then I got ghouls, so we'll tank the ghouls. Yeah, like, he might get some kills, he might die. Yeah, he's gonna die, but we're gonna get Baron, so it's whatever. And yeah, Blitz is probably gonna die too. I don't know why he was there with him. But this is a free Baron for us, because they were all down there. Yeah, free Baron. Alright. So now let's push top to put some pressure there, because we can't really go bottom from here. It's kind of far. Yeah, let's push this in. I'm not too worried about getting the last hits, because I am full build at this point. But it, does, it is kind of nice, because it makes your CS number look higher, which is new. Always good. Alrighty. Looks like Fiora's here, so I'm gonna leave. Oh god, this is not good. Actually, I should be fine. Rise is not that fast. Yeah, he's not able to snare me. They're not gonna walk into that. There's four of them there. Hyman's gonna get Dragon for free. We need to group now. Um, yeah, let's, let's go here. Mid's fine. We already have the inhib. No, 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 where, what, what's Jinx doing? She, oh, she's, she got a frozen mallet. 
Oh man, that build. Yeah. Okay, so Jinx, if you're watching this video, I'm not gonna say it now because it's really too late at this point. What are you doing? Ye, yeah, be careful, careful. There's like a lot of them here. Okay, I'm gonna pop the, the ulti on him. Alright, got her. Yeah, I popped my ulti on Z because he's basically like an AD carry, but a melee one. But yeah, we can just push mid here because they have no AD carry. But yeah, Jinx, if you're watching this video, don't get Runans and, and Frozen Mallet. Those are like two awful items, like in general, like really awful items for AD carries. So I would recommend that. You should probably check out like a Jinx video or two and we should just push here. Like, they're not going to stop us. Okay, well, team's getting wrecked now. Let's wreck you. Okay, there's another one. Turn off the mirror mana. I'm gonna go all the way for this guy. There we go. Let's take his tower. This is game. Alright guys, that is the game. We went 20 and 5 on Yorick. We got a pentakill with the pentakill skin and we DC'd three times. <laughs> I've lost for words. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I don't know what more I can do to excite you guys and bring you guys entertaining content. I realize I wasn't exactly the most exciting in the commentary, but you guys totally understand why, I assume. Um, if you did enjoy it, make sure make, make sure subscribe and all that good stuff because if you want to see more videos like this one, this one that's what we got to do. And yeah. I'm, I'm lost for words, guys. Go and let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comments. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to recreate a game like this. This is, this is something else. <laughs> I'll see you guys around. Have a nice day. This is Samudos Production. This is Samudos Production.